everybody, it's Steph and welcome back to my house, my little home, my little, you know, hobbit hole in the sky. I just changed my hair color. As you can see, my hair used to look like this, kind of purpley, pinky, gradient effect. And I just started last night into this more mermaidy blue with some turquoise kind of elements. Yeah. Y'all. So if you want to see what I used and how I created this hair color, then please just continue watching and you will know everything. You will be enlightened. It will be a wonderful experience. You will ascend. Okay, maybe not. So here we go. So first things first is you're going to need the dye of your choosing. I'm using Manic Panic Semi-Permanent Hair Color Cream in the colors Shocking Blue and Atomic Turquoise. You're going to need some clips for sectioning your hair, as well as a tailed comb. I incorporated a hair oil just to keep my hair nice and healthy and shiny. And don't forget the importance of some rubber gloves to protect your skin and a towel that you have no feelings for. I've started by sectioning off my white hair in the front. I'm afraid this video will not show you how to obtain the white hair because that's something natural that I have not had to create. But the point is, if there's any hair that you do not want the dye to touch, of course section that off first. What I'm doing here is I'm applying the hair oil to my hair. Even though this dye is not damaging, I still really want my hair to come out looking very shiny and healthy, so I apply the oil first. Now I'm sectioning my hair into easy to work with sections. I think in total I did five sections. You can use your tailed comb to help separate the hair in straight lines and then of course to secure it with a clip. I laid a towel down on the surface I was working with so that I wouldn't stain the counter with any dye. Then I put on my rubber gloves and we get to work. Let me start off by saying I am obviously not a hair coloring professional, which is why I like using dyes like Manic Panic that aren't risky for my hair. That's also why you'll see me using techniques that are clearly amateur and horrible. They're not going to hurt my hair, it's not a problem, it's just a little bit messy, but that's why I have the gloves and an old shirt that I don't like on. So if you want to be more professional, you can use a hair color brush or like an old foundation brush, anything like that that's going to be more neat but I don't really care. I expect myself to get messy when I do this, so I don't, I, I just, I just let it all go. What I'm doing to color though, is I'm just taking each section individually and then separating it into smaller bits and just using my hands to run the dye up and down the strand until it's fully saturated. I usually like to twist the hair as well, just to make sure it's really in there and I've got every single strand covered in the color. Next, to help the white section of my hair blend with the rest, I'm going to take it out and run the leftover dye on my gloves just right through little bits and pieces of the white hair. My white hair tends to not hold pigment very well, so this will fade pretty quickly, but it's going to help the hair just blend a little bit easier without like a stark difference from white and pink to turquoise. After sectioning my white hair back into place, I take down the rest of my hair and now we're going to utilize the shocking blue hair color. I'm going to separate my hair into easy to work with sections again and then what we're going to do is take the shocking blue hair color, which is different from the atomic turquoise, and we're going to run it from the root around and twist it through the hair so that there's a little bit of dimension in the hair once we rinse it out. We don't want to coat over every single bit of atomic turquoise because that's going to defeat the purpose. We just want to bring a different color and tone through the hair so that it's not one solid shade. The twisting is a very important technique, if you could call it that. So of course, once the dye is in your hair, you want to try to protect it from your surroundings best as you can. So put it into a plastic bag for, you know, a nice solid shield. Or if you have something that is actually professional, like, you know, a hair bag, if that's something that exists, do that, whatever you want. I left my color in for about an hour and a half to two hours. There's not really any too long of a time. As long as it's in for more than half an hour, you can do whatever you want. And then you want to rinse it out, you know, make sure you got all of it. I shampooed twice because there's a lot of color in there. Just, you know, make sure you don't have leftover color in your hair because when you lay down on your beautiful pillow, it's going to destroy it. So just do your best. Of course, you also want to make sure that you are drying your hair with a towel that you don't care about because fresh color is going to get on there. So don't wreck your mom's towels, please, because then she's gonna come for me. It'll be for blood. You can do this kind of, I guess you can call it color bleeding if you wanna get technical. You can do this, this kind of color thing with dimensional color with any set of bright colors. You can do it with red and pink, with orange and green if you want. I mean, I don't, if you want. Do what you want to do. Also, if you want to go for more of a pastel color, you can mix the dyes with conditioner in some kind of bowl so that it doesn't have as much pigment per, I guess, plop of color, if that is my best technical term. 
that I can find. The point is just experiment with colors, see what you like and make something cool. And if you do try any cool colors, just show me, tag me on Instagram, tag me on Twitter, do what you want to do. I want to see it. I want to see it and share it with the rest of you because brightly colored hair and punky colors and whatever you want to call it, it's just fun and it's expressive. So do what you want and I'm sure you'll be happy with it. If you have any questions about hair color or my hair color or anything like that, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I love you so much. Bye. Shut